connects for 1B, uh, we're doing the same process here. So again, for the vertical asymptote, you want to set the bottom equal to zero always to find the vertical asymptote. So we're going to do 2x minus 1 equals zero, and we're going to solve for that. And when we solve, we get x is equal to 1 half. So again, remember to put x equals as part of your answer. For the slant, we got to do that long division again. Now I mentioned this in the first question that if you have a, a power that's missing, you got to put in a zero placekeeper. That's going to be the case for this problem right here because notice there's no x term there. So because there isn't, when I write this, I need to put in a, a zero x term. And this just ensures that you're subtracting the right things when you do the long division process. So we're putting a zero in there. It could be plus or minus, it actually doesn't matter because adding or subtracting zero doesn't ever change anything. So we'll just make it plus uh, for this one. We go through the, once it's set up, we go through the same process as before. What do I have to multiply 2x by in order to get 4x squared? We're going to need a 2, but we also need another x. And you'll multiply this by both things out front and you'll put your results down here. So we're going to do 4x squared minus 2x. Remember, you're always subtracting, and so when you subtract that, you have a zero minus a negative two. Be careful with those signs there. You'll get a positive two as a result. Then you'll bring down the negative seven. So two x, and there's a two x there. You just, you'll just need a one. So we're gonna put a plus one over there, and then that's gonna be multiplied by what you have uh, outside there. So you're gonna get two x minus one, and then we're, we're going to subtract it. You have negative 7 minus the negative 1, so negative 7 plus 1 you get, and you end up with a remainder of negative 6. So as I mentioned before, uh, we don't use your remainders at all when you indicate your slant asymptote. We're going to make sure you put the y equals there for your answer, and it's going to be y equals 2x plus 1. That's the equation for your slant, and the equation for the vertical asymptote is 1 half.